When a machine comes to station one on the reconditioning line, it takes approximately three days until the machine is green tagged and ready to ship. Something we do between each station to ensure quality is we have history log books that go with the machine. Each station has a set workload that they do and we also follow the same quality criteria as new production to do reconditioning. Station one is where we install hosing in the frame. We install a rebuilt rotary coupling. Uh, we also go through our transmission valves and flow dividers to make sure they are up to spec and no, have no issues. Then at that point we install the tires and move it to station two. In station two on the assembly line is where we inspect all electrical components. We also rebuild our ground control box. Uh, we assemble a rebuilt swing hub in the machine. When you go to station three on the reconditioning line, we install our engine. Uh, we install oil coolers on all machines. Uh, we also rebuild our hydraulic tanks there, install a new fuel tank, and wire the engine. When the machine reaches station four, we install all new hoses. We also install rebuilt cylinders as long as they meet specifications of new production. What happens between station four and five is we have a boom assembly sub area where that piece of the machine is built separately and then sent to the line. These boom sections are labeled to machine serial numbers when they come out of teardown, so the same boom sections go back on the same machine they come off of. Uh, after that is completed, the machine moves to station five, and that is where we'll install all the fluids into the machine. We install the boom assembly, we install the platform, start the machine, and that's where we actually get the machine to start functioning, and we check all functions to make sure they work in that station. After the machine is functioned and working in station five, we drive the machine into station six. At that point, all hydraulic components are pressure tested. We'll install our hoods, we'll install our decals, test our generator, make sure all voltages and parameters are correct. At that point, it's ready to go into our test process.